got five. That's going to be the last play of the football game. So it's been, uh, what, 63 years since Florida and Georgia have played on this site. And it is all Florida. The Gators bouncing the Bulldogs 52 to 17. And Steve Spurrier remains undefeated against Georgia. Undefeated in 1995. The Gators roll on in Athens. Push again. Okay. I will right, we'll go this way. Okay. Okay. He's still talking to Dean Blevins. A bit more. He can't go any further. Coach. Here we go. Gators a big winner. It's 52-17 in Athens, Georgia. Coach Spur, congratulations. A uh, big team effort today. Well, thanks, Bob. Our team was really ready to play. Proud of our senior leaders and the entire team. Had a good week of practice. Came up here. Read a lot of stuff in the paper, how the dogs were ready for us. But uh, I'm really proud of the entire team. Really played hard the whole game. You thought Danny Warfel would have a big game. He threw the ball awfully well. Well, we're fortunate to get those early breaks. Got the fumble down here, and then uh, they dropped the snap from punt. So we were able to get uh, a couple of sort of quick, easy scores. Uh, which we haven't gotten a lot this year. So that really set us out. When we got 14 points up on them, they, their offense has struggled this year with all the injuries. So we were sort of in good shape then. Gators is becoming a very good road team right now. Our players know how to get ready on the road. They prepare well. There's not a lot of clowning around. And uh, we seem to play just as well on the road now. All right, Coach, congratulations. Thanks. Okay, the Gators win 52-17. Let's go back upstairs to David and Jim. There's the final score. The third-ranked Gators remain undefeated, knocking off the Georgia Bulldogs today in Athens between the hedges, 52-17. And now Steve Babbick is standing by on the field with Gator head coach Steve Spurrier. Gators a big winner, 52-17 in Athens, Georgia. Coach Spurrier, congratulations. A big team effort today. Well, thanks, Bob. Our team was really ready to play. Proud of our senior leaders and the entire team. Had a good week of practice. Came up here, read a lot of stuff in the paper, how the dogs were ready for us, but... Uh, I'm really proud of the entire team. Really played hard the whole game. You thought Danny Warfel would have a big game. He threw the ball awfully well. Well, we're fortunate to get those early breaks. Got the fumble down here, and then uh, they dropped the snap from punt. So we were able to get uh, a couple of sort of quick, easy scores, uh, which we haven't gotten a lot this year. So that really set us out. When we got 14 points up on them, they, their offense has struggled this year with all the injuries. So we were sort of in good shape then. Gators is becoming a very good road team right now. Our players know how to get ready on the road. They prepare well. There's not a lot of clowning around. And uh, we seem to play just as well on the road now. All right, Coach, congratulations. Okay, the Gators win 52-17. Let's go back upstairs to David and Jim. So the Dogs are fed to the Gators today at Sanford Stadium. Florida football team all business again. Steve Spurrier, an all business type of uh, head football coach, and his team is really enjoying sort of a dream season at this point. 7-0, ranked number three in the country. For the second straight year, the Gators have scored the most points a Georgia football team has ever given up in an SEC game. That's happened back-to-back -back years now. And uh, Spurrier's just got it going on, doesn't he? Well, he talks about having focus, and one of the goals uh, this team had was to return to the Georgia Dome and uh, try and defend their Southeastern Conference Championship. And the first uh, order of business was winning the Eastern Division. And the Gators are well on the way to closing the Tennessee Volunteers out of any chance at all. The Gators with two remaining ball games, and all they need to do is win one of those two. And uh, Tennessee has no chance, and the Gators are back in the Georgia Dome. Two SEC games uh, left, Jim, refers yes. to Vanderbilt at home and at South Carolina. Don't forget, the Gators football team, not the only Florida team that is ranked number three in the country. The Lady Gator volleyball team also ranked number three, and they take on Florida State. That'll be live on Sports Channel Tuesday. Spend Halloween on Sports Channel with the Lady Gators and the Seminoles live at 7 o'clock. And be sure to join Sports Channel for more Gator football action Saturday, November 4th, 11.30 p.m., when the Florida Gators host the Northern Illinois Huskies. 
back home at Ben Hill Griffin Stadium in Gainesville. All the action begins right here on Sports Channel. For Jim Yarbrough, I'm David Steele. The final score from Athens, Georgia, the Gators 52, the Bulldogs 17.